Okay, here I am going to post my first help video. This is a glove box door from a 1973 Plymouth Duster. It has the typical pinhole deal in there, which I found does absolutely nothing for the removal of the lock, as you can see right there. Uh, what you'll need to do is get her turned over and start on the back side. Okay, we've got it turned over. Essentially what I'm using is just a piece of real simple bailing wire to get the thing apart. Uh, again, that front pin hole does absolutely nothing. So in here I've taken the screws out already on both sides of it and given us access to it. Uh, you can kind of get it turned around a little bit. What you're really going to want to get to is that little hole right there on the front. And uh, I'll show you how we get that here. So I want to turn it over. Hopefully you can see this well enough. I'll show you once I get it apart what I'm doing uh, to get it to this point anyhow. Is there's a little... Inside that hole there's a little sleeve in there or a little pin that pops up that needs to be depressed. And all you have to do is go up along the... I guess at this point here it would be that bottom edge. There you, the hole. So the farthest point away from my thumb. And this little hole right down here. And you'll need to just slide a this wire in that little slot. And I'm going to try to do this with one hand and uh, get it with the other, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. So let me just show you, and I'll get it apart and then show you what I'm pressing. Before I do that, I actually need to show you this part too. You'll need to set the hook in order for to get that pin to release. So this is an open position, so you'll need to push that up, get your finger underneath it, and get it to snap into place. Okay? Now with the cylinder out, you can see that little spot right there. Okay, and I pulled the cylinder out. And the pin I was depressing was this little guy right here that sits down right on the edge. You'll see it's, this one's kind of gummed up so it doesn't come in and out very easily. But that's the little pin you need to depress that goes inside that little hole. So again, in order to get it back together, same thing. You need to press and hold this up, the, the latch. like so, and hold that in place, depress that, and then push it back together if you want to get it together again. See, so that pin right there rides right along, right inside this little edge here. So that's the pin you need to get pushed down. Again, I'll show you a side view. That little guy right there needs to be pushed down in order to reset it in there. But that's the one that needs to be pushed down to get it apart. And that's pretty much it. Hope that helps you people. It took me a long time to figure that little sucker out.